Today I'm going to show you how to wire an 8-pin relay to hold. Hi, my name is Craig Michaud and I am the electrical instructor. Today we're going to talk about a holding circuit. What is a holding circuit? Well, if I was to just take a relay and put power to, to my coil, then as soon as I took my finger off the button, it will go off. I'd have to hold the button in so that the, the relay would stay on. There's a way we do this, and I'm going to show you how to do that today. Okay, so today what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to go over a holding circuit. So I'm going to show you a drawing on the board. We've seen this before, okay? This is a start-stop controlling a relay. If you haven't seen the video already, go ahead and click the one up above. It'll show you how to wire a start-stop. There's a couple different things that, that I added to this. And one of the things here is this holding circuit. Even though I showed it in the video, I didn't really explain what it was because I said I would do it in another video. So here it is. This here is a hold circuit. What does that mean? Well, how it operates is as soon as I press this button down, I complete this circuit all the way through from my 120 volts to my neutral, I complete the circuit. When I complete the circuit, the relay will pull in. But if I don't have this here, then all that happens is as soon as I take my finger off the button, the relay gets turned off. Well, we need to hold that relay because I want to control that, that relay and disconnect it from my stop button. So my stop button will actually take the power away from this so that I can not use the circuit. This here is what we call a holding circuit. It's also known as a latching circuit when you get into PLC logics and things like that, but we're not talking anything about that. All we're talking about is how to hold a relay. We are talking basic motor control understanding and fundamentals. The R here simulates we are gonna be using a relay. You can use a control relay, an ice cube relay, any type of relay that's out there, solid state relay, the way we hold it is the same. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how this all works together. Okay, so here is a picture of an eight pin base. If you haven't watched my video on eight pin base, go ahead and click the link above. It'll explain to you normally open, normally close the coil. We'll talk about that. Today all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to wire it. So. When we did our video last, last time, what we did is we ran our neutral to seven and we ran our power to two, okay? So basically what happens is two and seven, our, two and seven, our, two and seven, are what controls our coil. So if I put power across two and seven, I get that coil to pull in. If you watch the eight pin relay video, you'll understand that as soon as I pull that relay in, I change my contacts. That will get explained a little bit later if you, when you watch that other video. What we have to do is we have to get this power to turn on in order to flop that from a normally open to a closed, okay? That means power is gonna carry through. So typically, when you look at the relay, what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring 120 volts from the start button, okay? And I'm gonna show you how to wire all this stuff, so don't, don't, get lo don't be lost, okay? I'm gonna bring 120 volts from the start button. When I hit stop, it's gonna disconnect all power completely, okay? What we also have to do is we have to put in a holding jumper, okay? So three is a normally open switch, okay? So when I pull in that coil, that normally open switch is gonna close, okay? So when I close it, I'm gonna be bringing power from one to three, and I'm gonna run a wire from here to two. And by putting this wire in, now I'm gonna pull in the coil, the Power is gonna go through this jumper through three, back to two, and when I take my finger off the button for this initiation circuit here, I am now gonna have power sitting here on two. 
when I press the stop button, I will break this power here, which means the coil will open and then it'll stop. Okay, let's go wire it up. Okay, so at this point now, if I hold the green button in, I can get the relay to come on. But as soon as I take my finger off it, the, it doesn't hold. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to wire it. How do we get that to hold? Simple. We already have our stop and start button wired into the relay, okay? That was something that we did in another video. Hopefully you watched the link. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna to add to the circuit. So remember, you know, motor controls, we can keep building on these circuits to make life that much easier. But we're gonna do a little bit of a quick review and then I'm gonna explain it to you. Okay, so this here is our normally closed button. Okay, meaning it's normally closed, meaning power is going all the way through it. If I press the button in, it breaks the power. This is my normally open button, meaning if I press the button in, it completes my circuit. So we wired from our terminal strip to here on our stop, stop button. Through the stop button, we jumped over to the start button. And then from the other side of the start button, we went up to the eight pin relay, which was terminal number two. Now, if I press that button, it's gonna come on. So what I have to do now is I have to get a wire up to one because I'm gonna use three to power my hold. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna run our wire up to our relay base. So looking at our relay base, now I have this wire here is going to one side of my start button, and this is my neutral going down to my terminal switch strip. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take a wire and I am gonna run 120 volts to it. Now I'm gonna take my wire and I'm gonna wire it into my start button. Remember this wire here, from here is going up to my, my relay. So I'm gonna come from the other side because just like a single pole switch, I'm gonna put the feed on one side and I'm gonna put the switch leg on the other. I am gonna take this feed and I am gonna tie it to here, which is feeding my number one pin. I have to take a short little jumper from the, number, from the number three terminal and I'm gonna loop it around and I'm gonna bring it back to the number two terminal. By completing this, now I can press my start button and I can hold it. Okay, so now that that's wired up, I put the relay back in the base, 
I press the start button, take my finger off it, and the light is still on. It truly doesn't get any simpler than this. You always have to remember, watch the eight pin video, it'll explain all what all eight pins stand for and what they mean. And I break it down into a layman's terms that anybody can understand. So watch that video, it's, it's already in the link above. Go ahead and watch that. Watch this video again, and you will be able to wire a start stop hold circuit holding is very simple all you have to remember is you just have to get power back to that coil to hold the power on the coil it really it doesn't get any easier than this in the future we'll add lights and we'll we'll do some different things so that you can see why we use the holding circuit but this is a base a very basic video to show you how to hold a relay what I want you to do is, if this video helped you, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. If you want, leave me a comment down below. You know, I love hearing feedback, especially, you know, some of you guys who do this stuff every day. You know, maybe you have a little trick that maybe I don't know about. Remember, this is basic videos that I make for my students so that they understand how to do this. Also, if you haven't subscribed, do me a favor, please subscribe. You know, this is the only way I can build my channel. You know, the more subscribers I get, the more I can keep making out, making new videos and, and investing more time into videos. As always, have a great day and be safe.